is insurance allowed in Islam, especially life insurance? If not, is there any other alternative or any Islamic solution to it? <coughs> Sister posed the question that is life insurance allowed? Is insurance allowed? It's special life insurance. And if it's not allowed, is there any other alternative or is there any other solution? The concept of insurance is a very old concept. With the people of the community, they pull in the money and the money is utilized at the 11th hour. Maybe you have an accident and case of emergency, that pooled money is utilized. It's a very good concept. But coming to life insurance, is it allowed? According to a fatwa given by Maulana Muhammad Abu Zahar of Egypt, he said that insurance on cars for its repair is lawful. Though in itself it is unlawful. The insurance on the cars for its repairs is lawful, though in itself it is unlawful. Overall, it's allowed. As a system, insurance, the way it operates is unlawful. But for cars and repairs, it's allowed. But life insurance, in which you give a monthly installment, give a monthly installment, and if any mishap takes place, you get your full amount or double the amount. And at the end, if you survive, you get your full amount along with profit. This is nothing but riba. So in short, any investment, whether it be life insurance or car insurance or property insurance, if it involves riba, it is haram. Any investment which deals riba, it's haram. Today that we have today, the life insurance comp corporation, as far as my knowledge goes, the major of the investment is in fixed money market. That is, it is interest based. So whatever money, suppose you record a policy of about 1 lakh for about 10 years. So each year you keep on paying 1 lakh rupees. Each year. So each month you pay an installment for a particular 1000 rupees. And if you die of an accident in between, even though you have paid only 2 months installment, you get double the amount. You get 20 lakh rupees. If you die a natural death, you get the full amount before maturity. But if you survive for 10 years without dying, you get your full 10 lakh rupees along with profit. Now where do they give this profit from? The major investment of the life insurance corporation here is in fixed money market, which is riba based, interest based, it's haram. If you know of any institute which gives insurance, which is not based on money market, but based on shares, equity is allowed. Recently, a few days ago, I came across a form called the Golden Bond, which operates in London, in England. There, you invest an amount. The minimum amount that you have to invest there is two and a half thousand pounds. That's about 1.25 lakh rupees. And after you invest the, that amount, they take that money and invest it in shares and equity, which is allowed in Islam. Shares and equity. They don't invest in fixed money market. And they say that they will give you a return of approximately 7.5%. Approximately. And they give an additional facility that in case if you die, you get an extra bonus. So these sort of investment, which does not deal with riba, it's allowed. But the present life insurance, as far as my knowledge goes, it deals mainly in fixed money market, which is not allowed. It is haram. Insurance not dealing in fixed money market, not dealing with riba, it's allowed. If you're dealing with riba, it's haram, this is in short. Regarding is there any alternative? Is there an Islamic solution? Can you have a life insurance company based only on the Sharia? Like how you have the Islamic banking based on Sharia? Can you have a life insurance company based only on Sharia? Yes, why not? You can have. And a very good solution was given by Mufti Muhammad Shafi of Karachi, Darul Ulm of Pakistan. He said that we can surely have a life insurance system based on the Islamic Sharia. He says that how you give monthly premium, monthly installment life insurance. You also in the Islamic life insurance, you keep on paying a monthly, a, a certain amount. That amount which you give as monthly installment is invested in the Mudaraba system. Now whatever, whatever profit that you get from the money invested, 
a particular share, say one fourth or one third of the profit, you keep it separately as waqf. Your initial amount is invested in the Mudaribah system, whatever profit you have, one third or one fourth, keep it separately as waqf. Now, if suppose any of the shareholders, any people who are involved with life insurance company which is Islamically based, if they have some problem like accident, you can give the medical aid from that waqf. And you can keep a fixed limit that if certain factor takes place, you'll give a certain amount. If that takes place in accident, you'll give a certain amount. If that takes place in disease, you'll give a certain amount. You can lay down the condition. Islam gives you permission that you're allowed to utilize your own waqf money since it's part of your profit, which is pooled. But there can be loopholes. In the modern system of life insurance company that you have, you have to pay monthly installment. And if you stop paying the monthly installment, all your previous money is gone, is null and void. They do not give a single pie back. If you stop paying the monthly installment, the premium, all your previous money that were put in the life insurance corporation, it is forfeited. Islam does not allow you to forfeit anyone else's money. But if you don't have this rule, people will invest in the life insurance company according to the Sharia. Say if it's for five or six years, they may stop paying after five months or six months. So you can make a format that anyone who invests, the scheme should be for approximately five years or seven years or ten years. If you stop paying any time in between, you will only get your capital sum after five years, after ten years, keep a fixed period. You will start paying today. After five months, you stop paying. You will not get your money back immediately. You will only get after five years, after ten years, whichever has been laid on the Sharia board of that company. And secondly, if you stop paying before reaching half the time stipulated, say the insurance policy is for five years or ten years, if it's for five years, if you stop paying before two and a half years, then all the profit of your money, which you paid for one year or two years, is profited. But the capital sum you get back after five years, or after ten years. But if you stop paying after half the time, you will get the profit. So it is also very much viable. It's possible to run a life insurance company based on the Islamic Sharia. I hope that answers the question.